so ready for my stuff. PCSing is so hard. Like we're both stressed out. I think it's, obviously some of it has to do with money, but then I feel like, I know the other part for me is that I'm just such an independent person and I need my independence. I have none of that right now. So I'm ready to like start going back to the gym consistently. We've tried to go, you know, here and there, but it's difficult because he has PT three times a week and then, you know, he's kind of tired whenever he gets home and, um, he says he'll go with me and we have gone, but I just feel bad. I don't want him to feel obligated to go with me again. I keep saying I can go by myself, but that's my husband. He, he says, no, I'll go with you. So, Luckily, the dog's quarantine is over now, so I take them on walks and take them places. <clears throat> we are just trying not to go to too many places and spend a lot of money just because we're like really tight for money right now. So I'm frustrated with cooking. I love to cook and I love to bake. And obviously I can't bake right now. I don't have any of my baking stuff. So I'm super excited for that stuff to come in. And cooking wise, we ended up buying two like non-stick skillet pans just to make things like eggs and stuff because we needed those anyways. I don't have anything like that in my household goods and neither does he. And we bought like kind of a deeper pan just, just so we weren't eating out constantly and we could have a little bit more of a variety. But it seems like every time I cook something, something gets messed up. I don't know if it's because of the recipes on Pinterest, which I feel like has a lot to do with it, but also just the lack of utensils and stuff, like in pots and pans. Like I just, like some recipes call for like, you know, a stand mixer and, you know, a food processor and I can't. So, so we have to keep making recipes that are somewhat simple. And I'm ready to just like really get in there and cook and bake. I keep watching TV shows on cooking and baking and I keep watching like Instagram videos of people like cake, cake, cake decorating and stuff. It'll be nice to have Shaw's bed come in. He's got a king size and we're sleeping on like the rental queen size bed right now. And Obviously, you know, a queen size is still pretty good, but it's also just not comfortable. So we're excited for his nice, big, comfy bed. This red couch that I'm on right now is the rental couch that they gave us, and it is like kind of rock hard, and it's not very comfortable. You can't like lay out, and like it's a small couch, so with us both trying to watch a movie and stuff, you can't get that comfortable. So can't wait for his couch to come in, and just everything i'm so ready for like all my stuff i'm ready to not wear the same thing over again like i only have so many clothes that i packed with me so i feel like i'm wearing the same outfits over and over again which you know is kind of a first world problem but you definitely take for granted the things that you have on a day-to-day -day basis and then whenever you don't have it you're like okay that's a nice it's a nicety Let's see, I'm trying to occupy my time by painting my nails. I have really been working on the YouTube stuff more as just a hobby. I'm having fun with the editing and the filming and that kind of thing. So that's been taking up some time. I'm trying to learn like new and different stuff to do and just to play around with it. 
other than that, there's just not a whole lot to do. You know, I'm lucky that I have Hannah to hang out with now and I'm lucky that the dogs can go places now, but I'm ready to have a job. I'm ready to feel like productive. I feel like I'm actually doing something. I'm ready to not be so tight on money. <laughs> I'm ready to have our stuff and to be more comfortable. I'm getting ready to go to Daiso with Hannah. This should be fun. Finally getting out of the house. I can drive, which is exciting. See you when we get there. cover super cute bento lunch box little container for dog treats. Got this tiny little succulent. He's so cute. And then this is for the grocery bags. You put the grocery bags on the inside and then there's a hole at the bottom. And then a sponge holder for like Brillo pads. This tiny little container for my coconut powder for my coffee. And then I got this tiny little olive oil. all the stuff that we left there. Yay, wine glasses and curtains, candy, 
dust pan and broom. Here's package from my mom. $25 to ship it here, baby. Man, I think there's still another package then. Because she ordered me a photography book. She got me gluten-free dark chocolate hazelnut bites. Got some mail. Little broom and dust pan. Oh, look. This is cute. Sour neon worms. But look. What? that you left at home. Yeah. My dishwashing gloves. Glasses case with my sunglasses on it. Another bathroom towel, which is nice. Food processor parts. Whenever we get those. Oh, that goes to my tea kettle. <laughs> Put them in it. <laughs> and I see. Set up. No, I know, that's what I mean. Now I just need to get like the curtain hooks. Oh, okay. 
A little Easter towel, which is cute. And then another Easter one, which is actually kind of fitting. Now, now we got more dish towels. Exciting! Now I just need to go and get the photography book. He says thanks, Grandma, for all the goodies. There. That couldn't be brighter. We know where it's at. In case you ever need to call 911. I think I'm cool now. Yeah, look at it. Good. This thing looks like 